so durable that you really want those solid guaranteed kills every time you get a chance, especially when you force Ryu into doing Tatsumaki off stage to recover. You got it. Lucina's back air will just end his life. No. That said, it is actually surprisingly easy to temper back air on, on Tatsu. Absolutely. And not only just that, you know, in getting Ryu off stage, uh, you can also counter Tatsu as well. So a very, very simpler <laughs> option as well. Yo. Shut up, Gunblade. Come on, Gun. <laughs> Lilith is such a lame stage. You can't play Smash on it, and you can't splash on it. I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, man. Go ahead and shoot Gunblade a follow on Twitter, man. Wish you were here, man. Anyway, we have Smash Bill for the first match. It is going to be Marth versus Ryu. No Lucina from Mr. E, at least not yet. Maybe if he goes down a game, he'll make the switch. But, you know, this man knows what he's doing. He pretty much rose to the top with Marth. Lucina is just kind of an afterthought that he started using as of recent. And why not, you know? She's uh, not, she's not quite the same character, but, you know, obviously physically she still does the same exact moves. So, yeah. same inputs. You know, he's very comfortable. Home sweet home with both of those two characters. Now, I will say that Mr. E struggled against um, a Ryu earlier today. Oh, is he going to? Okay, yes. I thought he was going to go for a spike. That's very true. He did almost lose to, I want to say his name is Earl of M. Yes, sir. And Dark Chad, definitely a much more reputed Ryu. That was so good there. He He's seen his life flash before his eyes. That up tilt came out. He was expecting that Shoryu. But you know what, man? Let me go ahead and use my up special and just get out of this scary situation. Off the mark for the spike. Tries to sneak in a second one. Mr. E DIing out of that situation very, very quickly. And Dark Chad just using that focus to protect himself, knowing that Marth's only multi hit options in the air are neutral air and a very unconventional one. I'm a big fan of it myself. Dancing Blade. You got it, man. Let him know, Max. Don't really see a lot of Martha and Lucina players go for that in the air. However, specifically in this matchup, it can pay dividends. However, that heavy jab from Ryu taking a stock right away from him. Yeah, unfortunately, Mystery had to pay with his life. Uh, you know, Rage Ryu, plus with the lead, you know, it's a very sk uh, scary excuse me, situation to be in. I've got to figure out a way to claw your way out of this deficit. It gets the input of Dukin. Good job. Yeah, just throwing those shotgun nets over and over, but Mr. E finally gonna scout that one out, hop over it with a beautiful tipper forward air. Okay, and jumps in there with the dancing blade. Short hop forward air into the short hop nair. Oh, wow, I it, it love just, the dancing. Wow, now that's how you know you're feeling yourself versus Reed. When you run up and grab him out of uh, focus attack, that's something that we don't see a lot of. Definitely some serious cojones on him. Oh, okay, and then more dance dancing. Maybe Mr. E and Mr. R talked about something in doubles earlier, um, you know, about dash dancing and just how well it could be utilized in the <laughs> in the Smash 4 here. Yeah, the Mr. Collaboration. Actually, <laughs> man, I'm surprised that Mr. E didn't rise up with a shield breaker there to just take Dark Chad's life and game one all in one fell swoop. But oh boy, playing a dangerous game with Ryu in focus there. Yeah, he really wants to cross Ryu up and uh, I can't fault him for that. You know, it's very easy to do playing characters like Martha and Lucina, but you have got to respect the uh, Focus attack, because I tell you, man, once you hit that crumple, you know what's coming afterwards. Oh, boy! Wow! That was sick spacing. Shoryuken is definitely really good at poking through the stage. He's got a very large hitbox that you don't exactly see. That said, Mr. E knew that tipper range is exactly outside the range of that. So he closed out game one in a fabulous way. And I think this might be my first time commentating a Dark Shad match. I don't think I got to commentate any of his matches all weekend. Interesting. I Always definitely have casted a few this weekend and a few yeah. in the past as well. Aren't you lucky, man? <laughs> Darkshad, definitely always a treat to watch. One of the best Ryu's out there. Oh, and he's going to take it to the home field. Suzaku Castle Omega, one of the three lucky characters that gets to have his home field as a legal Omega stage in the recommended rule set. Yeah, man, I'm all for the uh, legalization of more Omegas. And Mii's as well, man. I'm one of those guys, man. I got a, oh, pretty, I got a pretty okay Mii Gunner, believe it or not. But anyway, <laughs> Mii Gunner's not here, man. We got Marth and Ryu getting ready to face off. And again, uh, Mr. E just does not stop, man. Dark Shad about to get blown up on his own castle. He's just having a really Ooh. hard time getting in on Mr. E, as he should. You know, Mr. E building up this wall of aerials that Ryu just, unfortunately, I don't know if he's able to deal with. I mean, Ryu has taken with some pretty uh, crazy foes in his time, but Marth is a different beast. Okay, okay. Shoryu's just completely out of that situation. I like that. You know, if you go for an aerial on block that's relatively safe, your opponent has to respect that Shoryuken. We see Locust getting a lot of back air on landing into Shoryuken, and so many people fall for that. Dark Chad catching Mr. E with that as well, except with neutral air instead. Absolutely. Okay. Don't even try to come in and punish that. Nice job with the Nair out of shield. Mr. E going Ooh. to the depths of hell to take that stock. How low can you go, Mr. E? Yeah. Just enough, apparently. 
Gets him with back throw. Oh, I like that by Darkshot. Just forcing his way back with Tatsu. A quick Tatsu at that. Yeah, Ryu definitely doesn't want to be off stage. I don't know if he's ever prepared for this. A completely different game than what he's used to. So many safe tipper aerials being landed on Darkshad. And we've got Mr. E. Such gorgeous movement on the ground. Always finding a way to bait Darkshad into focus and consistently getting him with these grabs. Even though he's only getting a roughly 4% per throw, it's still just the concept of being able to open Ryu up through focus. That's his safety zone, you know? He thinks... He's good to go when he does that move. Oh, Rising Tatsu, though. There it is. Speaking of opening up, the Rising Tatsu there allows him to get his feet back on stage here. But Mr. E has a thing or two to say about that as he knocks him back off. Tried to hit him with the 10 o'clock news. Yeah. Back hit of the forward smash at that 10 o'clock angle. Oh, nice. Slides under him and gets another pivot grab. It's kind of the name of the game right now for Mr. E is these grabs. and He's just chipping away at Dark Shad here. And I not feel only like just there's a, a shield breaker coming soon, though. Yeah, not at, yeah. I'll get ready to say that. You know, not only just the utilization of grabs, but how well he's been using shield breaker to give himself breathing space. Oh, oh the wow. footstool! That is a Mr. E classic right there. This guy footstools probably more than anyone I've ever seen. Okay, just taking you clear off stage, making you think that he's going to wall you out with fairs, and then at the last second, letting you recover low, jumping right on top of your head and closing out games. All right, 2-0 lead for Mr. E. There have been so many 3-0s tonight. Two three ones peppered in there with the MVD Black Twins and the Esam Mr. R. Oh no, I'm sorry, Esam Mr. R was game five. Uh, so a couple non-game three sets in there, but I mean, I don't know. Is he gonna keep the theme going? We'll have to see, man. Uh, you know, as you know, I, I love doing commentary. I'd love to see more game fives, but if Mr. E has a 3-0 in his agenda, I cannot question it. The name of the game is Can E2C Darkshack claw his way back into a victory? He has to win three of these things in a row, but being already down 2 0 isn't a good spot to be in ever. I know he would love to be one of the other Midwest representatives in the final stages of bracket here. He wants to play on Sunday. Oh, I, this is the second time I've seen Mr. E go for a completely rogue up smash. Not quite sure why that's happening. Some kind of input error, but I'm not sure what the intended outcome was. Yeah. Nonetheless, though, double up special there. Gets him out of a sticky situation, but not out of that one. Up tilt, true sure you finally finding the mark. We're over here debating if there's going to be a game four, and Tarkshad just zero to deaths him to kick it off. Are we going to see? Oh, dear Lord. What's he got down here? Oh, almost. Oh, but then does sneak in a forward smash. Mr. E sent flying here with 91% still. This he is, is on life support, man. Oh, oh man. Okay. If he had... Managed to land the sweet spot of that Shoryuken. We could have seen probably the most dominant match of the day, at least at this level. Yes, sir. Okay, gets a few up airs for good measure. I like it. Smacking him clear across the stage, back and forth on battlefield with all his aerials. Let him know I got a lot of gas still left in this tank. Mr. E still fighting. And Ryu is one of those characters where eh, if you're already losing this badly, you're probably not going to win just because of how much survivability and kill power he has. That said, you can't exploit him off stage. Mr. E is extremely talented, and Marth has a ton of kill power on those tippers. So yeah. maybe we'll see things turn around after all. Ryu, very much a heavy guy. Been comfortable here at 98%. Dark Shad, without a care in the world, looking very primed to push this into a next game. Sneaks in the back here, and that is going to do it. The two stock victory. A lot of fight left in Dark Shad. We're not going to count him out quite yet. Gotta love that kind of resilience, man. He was getting slapped around. Two games in a row. Well, not really slapped around the first game, but game two is pretty convincing. And then he's like, hey, man, I got something for that. There you go, Zero man. to death right off the bat. And he almost won with like 9%. Yeah. There was a point at which he almost landed that true show where you can kill, but just a little bit shy of the sweet spot hitbox. And ladies and gentlemen, I just want to talk uh, about just the, the level of uh, electricity in this uh, venue. It's crazy, man. I mean, we got a full crowd for uh, Project M, obviously Smash 64, Melee. Yeah. There's just so much energy flowing through these walls, man. It's phenomenal. For a second, I thought you meant the actual energy expenditure for the event. I was like, yeah, well, man, their bills are going to be too, crazy. I don't, <laughs> know, I don't know, like I don't know where streams. Josh gets the money, man. I don't know where he gets the money. Uh, from us, man, from people like you and me and all the viewers supporting this event, whether it be by attending or viewing the stream. And hey, man, that's that's what it's all about is keeping the Smash stream alive. You got to support the market, you know? You got to be a good consumer. You got to. All righty. Turn off ad block. <laughs> One can dream, right? Okay. Darkshad looking a lot better here. 
Okay, coming in, not as aggressive anymore. Just runs right up his shields. Understanding that he's probably going to throw out an aerial. He did tomahawk, dash dance back and forth into grab. That was one of the sickest things I may have ever seen in neutral play. Oh, okay, here's those up tilts. Okay. Oh, he knows that shield is close to breaking. Okay, and I... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh geez! Sent to the depths Oh, of and he's alive! But he said, I still I rise, man. Good job. Okay, not gonna hit the sweet spot there either. Darkshad, man, just a few pixels away from sealing off quite a few stocks in this set. Man, he's like, I want a game five, buddy. And I think the ultimate, like, turnaround for Darkshad's understanding that, you know what, he is gonna throw out the neutral special lot. He is very neutral special happy um, on Mr. E's end. But that move does not have what it takes to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with focus attack. Exactly. It may break a shield, but it can't break a focus. No, sir. Okay. Okay, has him backed into a corner right now, playing with his back to him. You know what he's going for. Obviously, reverse focus attack, or it could be a back air, something very simple as well. Hey, okay, gonna block all that shotgun at Sudoken. Oh, and a heavy jab once again, sealing Mr. E's fate. Okay, this is the dark side that we have all grown to love. Regardless of what you say about his Ryu, man, this kid, this is not even a man, this is a kid here. Tangling with some of the best in the world. Yeah, I gotta say, I definitely did not believe in Dark Shad at first, but he has certainly more than proven himself to me. Yeah, Dark Over Shad, the... uh, he sold me when he beat uh, Leo at UGC. I was like, okay, yeah. this kid's on to something. Yeah, I'm a big Leo fan, so that was real tough to swallow, but it is definitely when things kind of turned around for me with him as well. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is a winner's bracket revenge match. Mr. E did beat Dark Shad. Uh, no, uh... I'm sorry, that I believe MBD beat Dark Shad in winner's bracket. Okay. Okay, interesting. Alrighty, but nonetheless, right now, both these two guys fighting uh, for their tournament life here. Okay, Mr. E is up two games, but it doesn't matter, man, because, man, Dark Shad is up two whole stocks with max style race. He can make a lot of magic happen here, but that time, not respecting the uh, the focus attack, gets both hits of the Nair and takes out my man Dark Shad. He said, I don't care about that focus attack at all, man. You have got to go. Again, Dark Shad just falling a little bit short of landing that down air sweet spot. Oh boy! Dark Shad, every time he lands an up tilt, gotta just uh, hold on to your seat a little bit, man. Yeah, the uh, hairs on your arms definitely start to stand up because you just yeah. never know. Okay, grabs him right out of the focus attack again. And yeah, we can't see Mr. E lose patience. He has to keep going for those little tiny punishes if he wants. To. Oh no! In an input air. Does find access, though, to a grab. Hopefully, he can get a second opportunity. And there's that neutral special again. Whittling away at Dark Shad's shield. Might want to retreat a little bit, man. You're going to need a lot of shield to deal with these forward airs that Mr. E's bringing to the table. You can tell he's slightly afraid to block here, but his shield has regenerated, so he'll be able to take an uncharged shield breaker for sure. Yes, sir. He's going to need to land both a tipper aerial and a tipper shield breaker to get that one done. But speaking of tipper aerials, don't land him on block if you could actually just hit him. Right, he gets the ball the way back here. Oh boy, Mr. E backed into the corner. Oh no! Be reversed the wrong way. He was vulnerable there, but of course Ryu's down smash does not really kill. Oh! And he was just a little slow on his up air input that prevented the hitbox from coming out. It's gonna take it to a game five. Mr. E looking like real pensive. It looks like a album cover or something, man. Yeah, like man. the Nothing was the same or something. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. Nonetheless, though, uh, you can definitely see all the motion in Mr. E's face. Like I said in the past, he's a very uh, he's a very night and day type of guy when it comes to emotions. You know, he's either stoic, you know, and he's just kind of emotionless. He's sitting there like a mannequin, or he's just out of his seat like with the Tiger Woods fist pump. All right, going into the final game of the set. Where's it gonna be? I would love to see triplats from Mr. E, of course, but I think that Oh, actually, no, we already did play on Battlefield. Then Darkshed kind of destroyed his life there. Okay. So we're going back to Final Destination. Mr. E definitely not faulting the stage for his loss in that previous game. I like him rolling through the Hadouken, but it ended too quickly for him to actually land a punish. Oh, okay, the spot dodge. But that's scary, scary business to be in. Yeah, it was smart because it only works really at the end of focus to go for the spot dodge. Otherwise, you can just keep charging the focus and mm -hmm. punish your spot dodge it. with it. Yeah. I was slightly panicked by Mr. E. I, I could sense it, but, you know, it worked out for him. Yeah, despite Mr. E building up this wall, he doesn't have an issue getting in and boxing up close and personal with Darkshad. 
I'm actually so surprised to see Mr. E voluntarily cornering himself too. We've seen Darkshad just so potent from that position throughout this set. Good job. Oh no, no tech. I don't think he wanted to waste his jump just to get over that fireball though. Yeah. Okay, gets the fall away in there that time. Darkshad does find access to a grab right now. Both these two guys dancing around each other, but Mr. E finds himself off stage. Oh! And then the tipper force mass, not quite enough. I love the power shield from Mr. E. It didn't quite lead to the forward smash, but... Oh, I'm sorry, by Darkshad, rather. Um, he was able to power shield Mr. E's landing neutral air, but still got forward smash afterward. Absolutely. Okay, goes right back towards the ledge. Oh, the footstool off his head. These guys fighting neck and neck here. 10% differential between both of these two players. One finishing blow could be enough to do it here. Is he going to counter? No, he's just going to actually outspace. Well, he didn't even quite go for the Shoryuken yet, but brilliant move there by Mr. E. Again, dipping very low to close out a stock. Right. And again, trying to slow down the ties of this match. His utilization of Nair has been so good here throughout the course of this set. Runs right up into the grill of danger. Goes for down throw. Very, very interesting. <laughs> If only Dark Chad had the presence of mind to just go for the up tilt after that first spot dodge. I think he was banking on another grab attempt from Mr. E and just didn't quite realize that he had the punish window online. Wow, these grabs paying dividends for Mr. E so far in this set, though. Could be the nerve setting in. Who knows? Okay, Mr. E. Oh, that's being sent flying it. with that meaty back air courtesy of Dark Chad. Dark Chad back into the money here. Oh, he's. I don't care anything about that. Uh, that focus attack. High recovery, very uncharacteristic. Wow, I'm loving Mr. E's callouts on the dash cancels of Darkshot's focus attacks. He knows he's not gonna hold it forever and just whiff a punch, or maybe oh he will, my. but that almost cost him the set. That hurts so much to watch. Oh! 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 Wow, I am speechless. Mr. E has to be on notice right now. Oh, and he knows just another solid hit, and he's within that Shoryu can kill percent range. Definitely brought me out of my seat, that's for sure. Oh, okay. my heart is racing, and I can only imagine how these two uh -oh. feel. Wow, that was such a good skid to try to catch a roll in. Oh, no! Okay, trying to cross him up with the aerials. Mr. E just ever so slightly outspacing Dark Shad. Oh, boy! Oh, he jumps out! What's oh. going on? <laughs> he has no jump. Watch out. Okay, good job there. Getting back towards the ledge. The forward air to give himself a little breathing space. The neutral's been reset. All the way forward are both these two guys trying to bring each other in. Okay, gets a little overzealous with the backer. Gets punished by Mr. East forward air. Focus attack to keep himself safe off stage, but not enough. Blowing up the neutral getup with a fastball neutral air. Oh I'm sorry, at least a short off neutral air. I'm not sure if he actually fastballed, but either way, closing the set out in expert fashion. Marth the whole way, no Lucina to speak of. So, definitely uh, stuck to his guns, stuck to his swords, and it worked out. Like I said, though, two characters, uh, Marth and, Ry and Ryu, excuse me, that can kill very, very early. We didn't quite get a chance to see a lot of, like, the up till Shoryu conversions from uh, from Darkshad. You know, Mr. E seemed to be on the up and up about that and kind of stuffed that one out. But nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and look right at some of these replays here. All right, it's uh, the game number one where Mr. E gets this very, very good forward smash after yeah. the ledge re-grab. Good job. Great job outspacing the Shoryu can hitbox. And here we've got... One of those signature grabs from Mr. E, and here's where he finishes it off with a footstool, just adding it to his recovery for the sake of covering many options at once. Yep. Also, one of the benefits of playing with tap jump on, but look at how Darkshad just converts neutral air into down air so efficiently. That one didn't kill, but we do see, or we will see on Battlefield, just how devastating that is as well. Yeah, definitely one of the masters at taking you from one end of the stage with Nair uh, and finishing you off with Dare. All right, crushes his life away with that back air after that slightly mistimed up air attempt. And oh man, that was almost his life. This is also almost Mr. E's life. Catches it, neutral air, trades with the up B. And not quite enough to keep him alive, but here we go. I'm actually curious, does he fastball the neutral air? Yeah, he did. Okay. All right. And uh, still a good job there by Darkshad, you know, not to, you know, take too much away from him, but, you know, he charged up his uh, focus attack all the way just in case Mr. E did want to go low. Actually, Mr. E retreated back onto the stage, let him recover, and that's where he ended up punishing him with that fastball there that you were talking about before. So good job by both of those two players, man. That match was...